Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jaden and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm going to be showing you what is on my new iPhone. I got a new phone a couple weeks ago, a big upgrade from an iPhone 6 to an iPhone 11. And I'm just going to show you guys everything that's on it. As far as organization, it's honestly kind of the same, but I have some different apps and some things are just a little bit different because I do have a new phone and the layout and updates and everything like that is different. So yeah not going to make this intro super long, so let's get into it. So this is my lock screen. It's a picture of my sister and I when we went to Branson, Missouri. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. So when you open my phone, this is what you see. I'm so sorry for all the notifications. Well, it's not that many. I just need to open my snaps. Anyway, so my phone is organized um, in a way that I have shown on my channel before, and it's basically where you have a category of apps for each row but the first column is the app no the first column is a folder like with the category and then right next to it is three apps from that category that you use the most hopefully that makes sense and you'll catch on with the theme as I go throughout these apps but the first row that I have is photo and in the folder I have Moldiv, Megaphoto, I use both of those for my thumbnails, COD or COD camera It's like a disposable camera app. I don't really use it. I just saw someone use it and I wanted to try it, but I haven't tried it yet. I have Fonto and Pixart, which I also use for my thumbnails and then photos. I don't. I have this in here because sometimes I use it, but also sometimes I use Google Photos. I have Visco, which um, you can follow my Visco. I don't post on here, really. I mean, I have before, but not recently. So here's my Visco if you want to follow it. I edit my pictures on there. Then I have Google Photos, which is mainly what I use, and then camera. The camera quality difference on here is literally insane. There, there's you guys. But yeah. Then I have my productive row, and in the folder I have settings, Gmail, the Bible app, uh, NBC5, which is what I use to check the weather because it's more accurate. Calculator, I use that all the time because of geometry. On the next page of this folder, I have um, stuff that I don't use as frequently. I have Clock, App Store, Weather, Find My, which I actually use a lot, Maps, and Voice Memos. And then on the row, I have Calendar. I use Calendar so much. I used to use Google Calendar, but then my events and like when I would time block my days, literally my events started getting shared with other people. It's a long story. Then I have reminders and notes, which I use both of those all the time. The next row I have internet. Wow. Entertain. I have Disney Plus, YouTube TV, Spotify. I don't use my Spotify anymore. I used to like use both Spotify and Apple Music and then update my Spotify playlist to match, but I just am too lazy to do that, so I still have it because I want to look at other people's music, so. Then I have Roku to control the TVs around our house, podcasts, which I actually really enjoy listening to podcasts. I have the CW app because I love watching All American, and then on the next page I have Cooking Fever and Cooking Mama because I like cooking games. <laughs> Then on the rest of the row, I have Netflix, YouTube, and Apple Music. If you guys want to go follow my Apple Music, this is what it looks like. It's Jaden with two N's and a one. Next row, I have Social, and in the folder, I have FaceTime. I actually don't FaceTime people that much. I should, but I don't. Then I have YouTube Studio, which is how I view my analytics and sometimes edit videos like after I've already publish them. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you're a YouTuber, then this app is very useful. TikTok, you can see my screen time is <laughs> gone off for that app. Uh, I set my own screen time. I don't, um, like my parents don't do it. I just do it because I know how much time I spend on that app and I need to limit myself. Then I have Google Calendar and it's in the social folder because I don't use it. Well, I use it, but not for myself. I use it so I can see what other events my parents have put on the calendar so I know if there's something that I'm involved in or like that I have an appointment or something, it'll be on there. Then I have Snapchat, Instagram, and Pinterest. My Snapchat and Instagram are private, but you can follow my Pinterest. I'm so obsessed with Pinterest, you guys need to go follow me. Um, I think my username is jjnicole.c. Uh, if not, it'll be in my description. 
but I love my Pinterest so much. Oh, there's my Harry Styles board that I haven't pinned anything on in a year. The bottom three apps that I have are Messages, Phone, and Safari. Moving on to the next page, I have a bit more boring stuff. I mean, it's stuff that I use, but I don't use it as frequently as my apps on the first page. The top row is Finance, and I have Shop, which is an app that you can use to track your packages, Cash App and PayPal, which is how I send money and sometimes receive money, OCC, which is my church, and I have this in my finance folder because I use this app to pay my tithes and offering. And then I of course have the Chick-fil-A app so I can get my coins and get free stuff. On the next page of this folder I have apps that I more use for shopping. So I have Etsy. I do have an Etsy shop but this is the normal Etsy app because um, I actually really enjoy looking at stuff on there. I have Dunkin', Retail Me Not, which is how I get coupons for online and sometimes in-store. Shein, Depop, which I really like Depop. I am always on there shopping for clothes because I'm trying to be balling on a budget. And then I have Uber Eats, which I only used once. I have Amazon, which I shop on all the time. Wells Fargo, which is my bank app. And then Wallet. Next row, I have business, and like I said earlier, I do have a business, so uh, in the folder I have invoices, which is how I basically do like receipts for certain orders, and that's how I make those, and then Square is um, this like, there's like this little plug-in thing that you can swipe your card on, we used that when we went to a craft fair in our town, and so I can just see like all of the transactions and everything. Then I have Google Sheets, which I use to make a list of all of our orders and all the information about the orders. Sell on Etsy, which is how I view our shop and our analytics and things like that. And then Canva Stories I use to make all of our um, like promotions and stuff, which actually I'm going to show you guys um, our Instagram really quickly. So this is our Instagram. It's at makeyourbark underscore official. I can't remember if I put it in um, like the rest of my descriptions, but I'll put it in the description of this video. So please go follow our account. We just released our spring bandanas this week, so and there's more to come. These are the ones that are out right now, but there are more coming soon. So please go follow our Instagram so you can stay up to date on what's coming out and get some cute stuff for your dogs. On the third row, I have my school stuff. And the folder I have Quizlet, which I use all the time. It's literally a lifesaver. I make flashcards for everything. Remind, scientific calculator. This is Desmos. I use this for geometry. Yep, fun. And then I have Google Docs. Then I have Skyward, which is what I use to check my grades with my school. And then Google Classroom and Hotspot Shield. I used to use this to be able to get on social media as well. I was on school Wi-Fi. And on the last row, I have miscellaneous apps and I have Shazam. If you don't know what Shazam is, you can basically just press the button and it'll listen to whatever song you have playing and tell you all the information about it. Here's my last Shazam song. <laughs> then I have Ka Casa, Casa, I don't know. It's just what I use for my smart plug so that my Google Home will turn on and off my lamp. Bitmoji, which I don't use, I just use it for Snapchat. Zoom, I use that a lot because I do church calls every week with my small group and then watch for my Apple Watch. Next page, I have water. This reminds me when it's time to drink water. Intervals Pro, I use this for when I do at-home workouts and I really like it. Definitely recommend if you are into doing like self-made hit workouts. Then I have 7 Minute Women, which is another workout app, and they have such a variety, like a large variety of workouts on here, and I'm sorry, I haven't logged into this app, so I can't show you guys it, but it's really cool, and it has, like I said, a bunch of different workouts on there. And next, I have Sleepy Time, which I actually really like. I heard of this app from a YouTuber that I watch, and basically you can either say that you're going to bed right now, or you can pick a time that you want to go to bed or wake up and it will tell you when you either need to go to bed or wake up in order to wake up between your sleep cycles. If you wake up in between them rather than during your sleep cycle, then it will be less groggy and it will be easier to get out of bed in the morning. Then I have Google Home, which is how I obviously control my Google Home Mini. 
finally I have Noonlight, which is, I have never used it, but it's basically an app where there's some type of button that you can hold down or click if you're in danger, and I think it will send the police like your, your location. When I am out by myself, hopefully that will come in handy. And my background is from Pinterest. I literally just looked up like plain backgrounds on Pinterest and I liked this color and it kind of matched my phone case. So I set it as my wallpaper. Also, speaking of phone cases, my phone case is from Casetify. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsor. Just kidding. Just kidding. But my phone case is actually from Casetify and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. This is what it looks like. Um, up close. I hope y'all can see. It's just pink, blue, and like a corally pink, and it just has abstract stuff on it. Yeah, that's everything that's on my iPhone. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.